It's 7 a.m. in the morning in West Mosul, and Iraqi special forces are on the lookout for sleeper cells of the Islamic State group. The al neighborhood is known for widespread support for the jihadists. Many families on this street have sons who fought with and died among the militants. They appear nervous and are reluctant to share information. Who was working for the emir? There must have been people from this neighborhood who worked for him. You must help us. It's only Abu Krim's family and they died. To find sleeper cells of the Islamic State group, the special forces heavily rely on the council of local communities. They go from house to house looking for information. And once they have enough evidence, they arrest alleged jihadists and hand them over to the intelligence services. After hours of knocking on doors, Lieutenant Colonel Salam finally gets a lead. This young man, aged only 14, admits that he joined the jihadists. The commander promises his parents to let him go if he shares information. The boy leads the way to the house of another suspected militant. But this alleged jihadist doesn't want to cooperate. And Lieutenant Colonel Salam is losing patience. Who else went with you? Nobody. Only me. So how did we find you then? I told you. I quit. Turn off the camera. We aren't allowed to film the rest of the interrogation. The young man is also taken away, but later released for lack of evidence. Please, they are just children, his father says as he pleads for mercy. To succeed in their mission, the special forces must tread carefully. They can't afford to further alienate the population and are wary of bringing stigma onto families of Islamic State group fighters. Actually, they trust us right now and they feel good about us. What I care about is how the people look at them, how the neighbors will, look, uh, will deal with them. They will look at them without respect. And that's what I care about. That's what i thinking about, how these people will live in, uh, in this neighborhood, the same neighborhood. Even if Mosul is fully cleared of the Islamic State group, the rifts in Iraq's fractured society will remain. If they aren't mended, the next round of violence is almost certain.